My name is Bernice Chiam. I'm the Principal Design Engineer at Watercare, currently working at the Central Interceptor Project. Before I worked with Watercare, I worked with um, the Red Cross and um, uh, my first job with the Red Cross was um, at the Maldives. That was after the tsunami in 2004. After the Maldives, I went to Liberia for 12 months, also with the Red Cross. And the role that I played over there was quite different from uh, when I was working in the Maldives. Instead of in installing desalination plants, we were dealing with more basic water and wastewater treatment. So like, you know, hand dug wells, um, deep bores, as well as latrines and stuff like that. So just really basic water supply and basic wastewater treatment. And when I came back, um, there was an opportunity with water care, which I thought was, uh, you know, would fit in very well with the next step in my career. So I joined water care and that was, seven or eight years ago and I've been with Watercare ever since. I've been involved in um, two projects so far. One is the Basel is Landfill at Mangre and the second one is Central Interceptor project. And both of them are um, large in terms of scale um, and unique in terms of its, you know, its design and its um, construction. The Central Interceptor is a 13 kilometer long wastewater pipeline. Um, it's one of the biggest projects that Watercare um, has ever done. And um, basically it takes flows from Western Springs and gravity feed it all the way down to Mangare wastewater treatment plant. This is a billion dollar project and it'll take six years to complete from start to finish. In some ways it's very similar to what I used to do when I was overseas in terms of the level of engagement and yeah, stakeholder yeah, engagement okay. and community um, consultation. But at the same time it's very different in terms of the technical difficulties and the complexities. When construction begins we'll be using a tunnel boring machine very similar to what we use for um, hops and tunnel. The project is currently still in its design stage, um, so some of the, the design include um, you know, further investigations such as geotechnical investigation. Um, we've also carried out some, um, quite a few um, topographic survey just to make sure that we understand the places where we're going to be working and understand where the connections are. There are three main key drivers for the Central Interceptor project. Um, first one being to replace part of the Western Interceptor, uh, mainly the Manukau Siphon. Um, the second key driver is um, to provide for growth. And the third key driver uh, is to uh, protect the environment. The manager of this huge project is David Warden. He's also a bit of a mentor for me. He's the kind of person that is very easily approachable I use him as a bit of a sounding board whenever I'm stuck with technical issues as well as in terms of my career as well. Part of being involved in such a large project is obviously to um, engage with um, different stakeholders, be it internal stakeholders or external stakeholders. So within Watercare, um, the CI team actually work closely with the communications team, the property team, the planning and strategy team, um, as well as the service delivery team. For me, it's all about the people that we work with. Um, I work with a fantastic group of people. The team of engineers within this um, project, um, they're really supportive, um, they're really motivated, and we all have the same objective, and that is to do our job and do our job well. I'm Bernice Chum, and I'm proud to be a principal design engineer for Watercare.